combining data frames. There are two situations in which we like to combine the data frames. Number one, combining data frames one below another. Here we have one table and the other table. We want to combine them together which looks something like this. If you notice, the data from first table is available over here and then the data from second table is available just below that. So this is called one below another. And to do this thing, we can use two methods. One is concatenate, the other one is append. The second situation is combining the data frames side by side. Here you have first data frame and here, here you have the second data frame. From the second data frame, in our example, we want to bring these two columns and we want to combine them with first data frame so that our resulting table looks something like this. If you notice, the data from our first data frame is available over here and the two columns from second data frame are available over here. But if you notice, in these two columns, the values are present only for those rows where the invoice ID is common in both of these two tables. For example, if you see 11767910, 11767910, which is here, third and fourth row, and here it is available over here. So this is called side by side. And to achieve this, we can use either join or merge. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learn Area. And to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. In today's session, we will learn combining the data one below another. And in the second session, we will cover join and merge. So here, to combine the data one below another, we're going to use two things. One is append, the other one is concatenate. Let me take you to the Jupyter Notebook and try to show you these things with the help of an example. Here in this Jupyter Notebook, I have created multiple data frames. And in this example, we're going to deal with these three data frames, which are called cost sample 1, 2 and 3. Cost stands for customer. Let me show you the first data frame. Here you have first data frame, which has five records. In the second data frame, Again, we have five records, if you can see, but the invoice IDs and data is different. In the third data frame as well, we have five records and all the data sets or data points are different. So each of the data frame have five records. Now we want to append them one below the other. How can we do that? First, we're going to see how to use concatenate to append that. If you are using concatenate, so let's create a data frame which would have all these tables, all these three tables concatenated together. That I am going to say cast sample. And I will use PD. PD is pandas. If you see at the top, I have imported pandas library and defined that as PD. So PD dot concat and in the bracket in this square bracket i need to provide the list of all the tables which i want to concatenate together so the tables which i want to concatenate is cost sample one cost sample two and then cost sample three all of these three data frames I want to combine together and then I would like to show it to you. So if you see all these three tables have been combined together. But like you just noticed the index every time index starts from zero. This also indicates that from here till here these are the rows from date first data frame from here till here these are the rows from second data frame and these are the rows from third data frame. But in your resulting data frame, indexing like this does not make any sense. So how can you improve that? For that, you can just use one parameter, 
that is called ignore index ignore index equals to true by default it is set to false but when you use ignore index that will be set to true and if you see the index has been resetted starting from 0 to 40 so this is how you can use the concat function from pandas now we will see how to use the append function append is provided with data frames and not with the date pandas library so i will say appending i will create another data frame which is called appending and in that while you are appending first you need to choose the first data frame in which you want to append the other data frames so here i will take cost sample one in which i would like to append rest of the tables and then i would say append in the bracket I will provide a list of all the data frames which I want to append. Cost sample 2, cost sample 3 and let's see. Like you can see over here as well all the data frames have been combined together but again we have the same problem. Every time index starts from 0 for each of the data frames. So now you know the solution. For that, you just need to use the parameter ignore index equals to true. And now when you see this, this has a very good indexing. So this is how we can combine the data frames one below the other using concat or append function. Append comes with data frame and concat comes with pandas. I just hope that we clarified the doubt and you understand it. Just in case of any question, do not hesitate to put that into the comment section. We will definitely try to get back to you and solve your doubts. Thank you very much for watching the video. Wish you very good luck.